Hi everyone, the name is Eric Thor and today I want to talk about Dave's superpowers, mistyping. You are not who you think you are. So, Dave's superpowers has become very popular for his new objective approach to typology. His idea is to use science and scientific methodologies to prove and verify people's personality and behavior. So he seeks to understand people's behavior and their values and their actions through an objective approach. He looks at, okay, how, what uh, does the person do? What does the person say? How do they act? He uses a new method of typing people. Basically, he uses a version of the double blind test. He has two different experts or more go together, look at a person independently, write down their own thoughts, their own ideas, and then compare and contrast. Then if people are able to reach a shared conclusion, that indicates a person is a certain personality type. His goal is to eliminate common biases that people have that cause them to mistype each other's. He wants to move towards approaches that focus on what we can actually measure, what we can actually know, what we can actually learn about a person's behavior. So Dave's best addition to typology is really simple, easy to measure, easy to understand claims about personality. Intuition is in the imagination. Sensing is facts and data. So using this approach, you can break down the cognitive functions relatively easily. You can talk about extroverted intuition as scattering ideas and gathering the, the things that you imagine, where introverted intuition would be organizing ideas. It's all very clear, all very simple. It helps with typing yourself. It helps with really understanding that against that, what do I have? This letter versus that letter, what type am I? It makes things easier and it makes things more clear. What Dave is against this that of basically self-assessment and personality test. He does not have a personality test. He does not uh, believe in that approach. He believes most people online are mistyped. All right, here's something we're consistently seeing with uh, typing people. So we've done a video typing service. We had about 113 people come through, and the uh, statistics were pretty amazing. So we have found, just like Science and Carl Jung and critics of Myers-Briggs have been saying for decades, that yes, in fact, people can not see themselves. In this video of mistyping, you are not who you think you are, he shows that of the 113 people that came to him asking for a personality type profile, only a few percent came to identify with a type that was close to their actual personality type. So most people are mistyped. Most people are not even close to self-awareness and to insight into themselves. They make a common set of problems and they make, have a set of flaws and a set of issues that keep them from seeing their true self. One common thing is that we over-identify with our weaknesses. So we look at our weaknesses, we spend a lot of time working on our weaknesses, and we start thinking that because we are working so much on them, we are this personality type. Because I spend so much time working to go out and to be social and to be on and attentive to other people, I might mistype as an extroverted sensing personality type. So. What he asks us is to really look at where do we really put most of our hours, what do we actually do, and <laughs> what do we actually enjoy, what do we actually like. Dave's, test, uh, Dave's methods will probably make a lot of benefits and progress for society and for the personality psychology community as a whole. What I do believe is we need more. We need to go deeper. We need to evaluate his claims critically. I believe there is a lot more to do to perfect the approach that he is putting forward. So what I would suggest is quality testing. Beyond just having experts verify our results, we should be testing for quality. We should be asking the people we type, how do you feel about your new profile? How do you relate to these descriptions? How do you relate to these definitions? Over time, have you come to understand that your result or typing was accurate? After you were confronted with your biases, were you able to reach a verdict on your personality type? Did understanding this personality type better help you in any way? Did it teach you anything about yourself? Did it improve your life in any way? So what we need to be looking at is what's the value of typology? And I think we should be asking and doing surveys and tests on the people we type. Not just take, take those 113 people and then ask them, okay, now, how did you feel about your result? And then ask them a few weeks later, after they've studied the methods and studied the tests and gone through the cognitive functions, how do you feel about your result? Have you changed your mind in any way? Have you come any closer to self-awareness? 
perhaps after six months we can see clear indications of whether the approach actually works. Because no matter what we do, no matter how ob objective our methodology, at some point the people we use it on, who use the approach, must be able to reproduce the results independently. It's not just experts that can solve the problem, but we all need to become experts. We all need to start thinking about our own personality and our own behavior, and we need to be able to understand it critically. So Dave's methods and lessons and classes might be perfect for this regard, because it might help develop a generation of personality experts that actually practice independent and clear jargon and actually know their definitions and actually know how the system works. Hopefully also paired with quality testing, we can actually start getting some actual data about the value of typology. And if we take a step further, what are the things we can really do? What are the things we can really do to know our personality type? I have one thing I keep mentioning in all my videos, and that is focus on flow. Focus on who you are at your best. Focus on what you enjoy the most. Your inferior functions are your stressors. So recognize that whenever you go into your inferior function, you will experience a set of stress or anxiety. Recognize that you will feel less motivated. Recognize that you will feel less interested. The more you go into your inferior functions, the more stressed you will feel and the more unbalanced you will feel. The more into you go into your dominant functions, the more flow you will experience in your day-to-day -day life. The more energy, the more motivation, the more relief, the more relaxation, the more centered, the more balanced you will feel. So look at that to learn, to truly understand your personality type. Then take personality tests, then read cognitive function descriptions, then master and practice and practice and practice, recognize your bias, recognize uh, what biases you do have, what you tend to say that is flawed, work through it all, understand why you have these biases and understand that it's normal to have these biases and then see past it, see past it, go and improve your ability to introspect and to see yourself with clarity rather than with the uh, masks and illusions. Use the objective approach to, as a secondary method to validate your results and to work with your results, but understand that behavior and what we can easily measure is not always the answer. You might act in ways that go directly against your dominant personality type. Sometimes you'll behave as a personality type that is the very opposite of who you really are. So what you need to do then, what you, the only thing you can do in these situations, is really look into yourself. Look at, uh, why did I do that? What are my motivations? I believe the motivations and the reasoning behind what we do is far more important than what we actually do. Because our environment is always pushing us, always forcing us to be and act in ways that go against our natural state. The better we can be at recognizing who we really are and the better we can be at really understanding ourselves, apart from our environment, apart from what our family expects from us, apart from what our friends uh, have come to, uh, force us to be or how force us to act in different situations. Apart from what our coworker or bosses uh, expect from us at work, who are we? What do we really like? Who are we in a state of flow? I believe Dave's methods will make a great difference and I believe we need both to improve our objective methods to uh, verify type results, but also our subjective methods, our reasoning, our motivation, and our understanding of our own emotions and our own experiences. Thanks everyone for tuning in, and I hope to see you all in the next video.